Malaria is a tropical disease that has killed millions of Nigerians over the years. According to the World Health Organization, malaria is still an acute public health problem in Nigeria as the country accounts for 25% of global infection. Seven countries have been certified malaria-free countries by the World Health Organization, having achieved at least three consecutive years of zero locally acquired cases of malaria. However, Nigeria is still grappling with the control and eradication of the disease. This week's edition of the program looks at the plan to end malaria in Nigeria. Hello there, welcome to Dateline Abuja, I'm Gloria Umezuki. This week, Nigeria joined the rest of the world to mark the World Malaria Day. Well, malaria is one of the leading cases of death, especially among children under the age of five and pregnant women, and is caused by parasites that are transmitted to people through the bites of infected mosquitoes. Well, according to statistics, malaria is responsible for 11% of maternal deaths and 30% of childhood deaths. The financial loss owing to malaria annually is estimated to be about 132 billion naira in form of treatment costs, prevention, loss of man hours, and the list goes on. Yet it is a treatable disease. Well, these statistics are startling, no doubt, and disturbing, and should be a major cause for concern to governments at all levels. Well, my guest is from the National Malaria Elimination Program. But coming up next. The World Health Organization is charging Nigeria to build on the success of reducing the malaria prevalence rate to 27%. The government is planning to reduce the rate to less than 5% by 2020. We'll take a listen. According to the World Health Organization Global Malaria Report 2015, 97% of Nigeria's population live in areas with high malaria risk. These obviously include slums and camps for internally displaced persons. Latest figures from the United States Agency for International Development revealed that there are 100 million Nigerian cases in Nigeria, which accounts for 300,000 deaths yearly. Malaria contributes to 11% of maternal mortality, 60% of outpatients, and 30% of hospitalization. Nevertheless, malaria prevalence rate has declined from 42% in 2010 to 27% in 2015. Nigeria has witnessed a lot of successes in malaria program. Notably, the decline in prevalence from 27, from 42% in 2010 to 27% in 2015. This is a very huge success. Ending the malaria in Nigeria will prevent more than 80 million illnesses and more than 300,000 related deaths each year. So this is why malaria prevention and control remain a major U.S. foreign assistance objective. In Nigeria, the annual U.S. government funding for malaria has been 75 million annually for the last four years. And also the need for the governor, government of Nigeria, both at the federal and the state levels, to put significantly more funding into primary health care. Recent statistics reveal that the Northwest region has the highest malaria prevalence rate with 37% closely followed by the Northeast with 26%. Government, both at state and federal levels, are taking steps to address the situation. We will account for every kobo, every naira, every dollar that you give to us. And if you mismanage the resources, you will cough it. Take malaria out of the table, the room, the environment, this country, many things will change. A maternal mortality and the five mortality will significantly improve. The contribution of the workforce to economic development will also significantly change. 
All pregnant women are being given donates and drugs for free in all state government owned hospitals and other health facilities. I would like to assure that Zambra State Government will continue to sustain the fight against malaria. Although new malaria cases in Nigeria fell by 15% between 2010 and 2015, experts here are calling for better and more effective malaria preventive, diagnostic and treatment measures at all levels of the nation's health care delivery system. In our interview, Dr. Aldu Bala Mohammed speaks on efforts to eliminate malaria in Nigeria. Dr. Aldu Mohammed, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Well, now give us a background, really, of the fight against malaria so far in Nigeria. Well, I think the fight against malaria started with greater impetus when uh, the, the country hosted the Ap uh, Apri African uh, Declaration Against Malaria and they came up with Zeroba Malaria in the year 2000. And since then, um, this airport has made people to be aware, uh, aware of malaria as one of the diseases that uh, has a very devastating uh, effects, both on uh, morbidity, mortality, and it has uh, economic impact on the country. And as such, the international community and the African leaders put all effort to make sure that this is being addressed. So in so doing, uh, they set up some goals and targets, you know, to see that uh, we roll back malaria. You know, in the process of doing that, a lot of investment has been put on malaria yes. within the last 15 or and a half years and also new tools and new interventions have been introduced and the, at the moment we are talking with you about more than eight to ten countries are now free of malaria and in the country also so far since uh, we we got a very good indicative uh, processes of uh, uh, assessing impact uh, when we did the malaria indicators of 2010 and then the 2015, we saw a drop from 42% prevalence to uh, to 27%, and this is very significant. And then, how was all this achieved? Uh, the global community, including the federal government of Nigeria, were able to mobilize a lot of resources. In fact, since that period of time up to now, more than about 1.5 billion US dollar has been expended to address malaria. And in the process of doing that, there are some interventions that were brought on board. And this intervention has been proven to be very, very effective. And this intervention cut across prevention uh, treat and treatment. And in this treat, uh, prevention, we have so many armaments. You know, these armaments include the use of long-lasting insecticide nets uh, that prevents the vector mosquito that carries the parasite, the plasmodium polysporum, from having access to bite the individual. And this bite by the female Anopheles mosquito is usually in the night from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And at that period of time, if you sleep under the net, it will prevent you from the bite of malaria, So, which means the parasite will not be injected into your body that will cause so all sorts of complications to the human body.